Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have some fun lined up, to say the least. My number one priority this morning is to try and find a garage. I need a 19mm spanner to do up my bloody oil union again, which is now leaking oil again onto my exhaust. just realized in typical me fashion because I'm a bit pent up and I'm desperate to get on the road and go and try and get this sorted I have left without doing up the chin strap of my bloody lid there is a lot to be said for quick release chin straps on lids I need to stop take my gloves off and try and do it that way which is a bit of a pig. So bollocks to it, I'm just gonna crack on for the moment. Mondragoni is only a few kilometers away, so it should be fine. Alrighty then, so, I am now in possession of the 19 millimeter spanner that I require to keep this oil leak in check. The tool station that I went or the uh, parts place that I went into didn't have one but he recommended a little shop just around the corner which I thought might be a garage but it actually was a hardware store so winner I now have purchased for the grand price of two euros a half decent looking 19 millimeter spanner me being me I'm not a fan of temporary fixes but I accept that sometimes a temporary fix will have to do. My, my intentions for today are to get to Rome. I'd like to try and get to see the Vatican, even if it ends up being like it was at the pyramids, whereby I literally, you know, the pyramids are there in the background, my bike's in the foreground. You don't really get a sense of scale, but it's kind of like, I was there. Tick. But the other problem I've got, yesterday yesterday was an interesting day. Yesterday was, was a real day of up and downs. Now, obviously, I'm reunited with the bike. That is definitely a good thing. She has sustained absolutely no damage that I can see from Alexandria to Italy. That is good. I went from Salerno along the Amalfi Coast. I took the bike on some gorgeous twisty turny roads that, bloody hell, it's too hot with that down. That is good. It's not just the UK that cyclists don't bother, oh my word. It's not just the UK that cyclists can't be asked to uh, follow the traffic rules and look at this guy coming the wrong side down the road yeah mate just ride through the middle of traffic because you're on a cycle bloody hell mush oh, I think you've stalled you've got a problem I just hope that this all stays in place if I'm completely honest I really don't fancy losing my sump guard or my jacket because I have a feeling I'm gonna need this jacket at some point I know I'm back in shorts and t-shirt again but hey ho again it's too fucking hot it's 10 o'clock and my clock saying it's 36 degrees so that means it's actually past 30 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning it's too fucking hot so the good points were from yesterday picked up the bike and I went and did the Amalfi Coast. I then went over the top of the uh, over the top of the hills uh, through a uh, Parco de Natural that 
uh, the actual name of it escapes me. I will put it on the screen, see if I can work out, remember, find out what it was. And I made it to Ducati in Naples. And the chaps there, very, very good, good laugh. Good, good bunch of guys. And they assisted me massively by getting me a brand new front tyre. That is a massive win. That's a big, big, big win, getting a new front tyre that I desperately needed. And the tyres that I've got now will see me all the way back to the UK. What was not so good yesterday? Well, obviously, arriving at the hotel in a cloud of oily smoke, realising that I have the oil leak back again. That is not good. But, fingers crossed, I've managed to temporarily sort that. But there's going to be no thrashing of the bike today like I got to enjoy yesterday. Today's going to be a nice, gentle bimble. In fact, whilst I was in that hardware store, I should have seen if I could get some bungees. That was something I forgot to pick up. I was going to bring my set of bungees with me. And I completely bloody forgot to pick them up. So, emergency bungees always worth having. Scary. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. They do like their settlements on the tops of hills. I'll give them that. Ow. It's it's actually quite nice to be amongst other bikers. Not because I'm amongst other bikers, but because I'm amongst car drivers that are used to looking for bikers at the very least. You know, all of these car drivers in the oncoming traffic have moved over. And these guys just don't give a shit. They are going for it. Oncoming traffic, passing this traffic, they don't give a fucking hell, mate. They do not give a shit. Whereas in Egypt and Jordan, and particularly what I find in Saudi, because there are no motorbikes, nobody's looking for them. I need to get in. Thank you. See what I mean? They're looking out for bikes. He'd give me a bit of space. Because he knew. Yeah, you just fucking come on out anyway, missus. So I'm going to apologise and then I'm going to do it. Zipping in and out of the traffic. Taking filtering to the next bloody level. <laughs> Can't do that in London. There's my gap. There's my gap. One. Keep going, keep going. Two. Thank you. Cool. Little mini castle lookout battlement there. <sighs> this is what makes the epic ride home epic. Just look at this. This is beautiful. Hopefully the GoPro lens will correct itself enough. But that's just astonishing. I'm glad I've taken the coast road actually because even though I'm only bimbling along at 55, 60 miles an hour, this is very pleasant. Hashtag nobbing. Do 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 do. Just bimbling through the gorgeous Italian countryside. On my epic ride home. So in theory, I am an hour away from Rome, and I am also four and a half hours away from Florence, but what that doesn't take into account, those routes that Google is telling me to go for those times are the, is literally the main arterial highway that runs all the way up the middle of Italy. I am rather keen to avoid 
a main arterial highway. I don't really fancy doing the highway speeds or dealing with the highway traffic. I will if I have to, but I'd rather avoid it if I can. So again, I knew today was going to be a long day. I'm optimistic, having done a few hours riding, that I'm not going to need to uh, to stop by the Ducati dealer to get my get my loose nut looked at for an half an hour. I'm happy that I can keep on top of that myself. So it's now just a case of cracking on and getting the mileage done. But trying to find that balance going for it. Trying to find that balance between I've got to get there so I need to take rows that I can keep the speed up versus I want to see some pretty scenery. I don't just want to say yeah, I rode from Saudi Arabia to the UK, but I did so on all the bloody motorways. Doesn't do the bike any good, doesn't do me any good, and all it serves is just to pass the time and the distance. I'm trying to enjoy this ride. But I'm looking at the map, and I'm looking where I am, and I'm looking at where I need to be, and I just can't help but think, holy shit, I'm in for a long day. I genuinely have no idea where I'm going at the moment, but this is very, very pretty and I believe I'm heading to the highway that's going to take me into Rome. Eh. It's kind of got to that stage, nearly one o'clock and I'm not even remotely close to Rome. things I did not expect to see. Bookers aside, this is more like the sort of roads I was hoping I'd be able to find as a, as a suitable alternative to using the motorway. It's fast, it's flowing, it's mainly in the right direction. I think it can nice to have a little bit of Lefty, righty, something to concentrate on, if nothing else. So, that there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Vatican City. That is a pretty epic place to visit on my epic ride home. Down on. Right, yeah, this 
counts as my first ever fucking breakdown. This counts as my first breakdown on this trip, so... Um, yeah. Let's see if I can... There. There's the problem. That should be stuck on there. And it ain't. So... stay on but who cares right I'm going to shut you off ciao for now freestyle you find London is burning it will never stop you find London is pushing you down from the top you find London is saying you are her best friend you find London is drowning you where will it end you find London will make you the best you can be you find London will bend you right over her knee Seductive, constructive, reductive You find London amusing, confusing You're losing London You're losing, you're losing the fun You're losing the thread of the point of my one London is taking you all for a ride London is making a fool of your pride